Today is the day where I review The 100 by Cass Morgan. The book The 100 by Cass Morgan was actually based off of the, well, no, it wasn't based off the TV show. Okay, it's hard to explain. I can't really tell which is based off of either. You kind of say the TV show is based off the book, but the writer of the show got the idea up for the show by reading a few of the chapters of the book before the book even came out. This book is actually a series, but I don't think I'm going to continue reading it, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but basically, most of the things that happen in this book are not what you will see in the TV show because he only based it off of the first few chapters. In fact, this book is told from four different points of view, um, one being Clark, the other Bellamy, the next Wells, and the final one, Glass. Glass is not a character that exists at all in the TV show, and her other person, people that she talks to in, through her point of view, doesn't exist either. So it's like, okay. Um, but it is only told from those four points of views, and they are all teenagers. They are all part of the 100. Well, one of them isn't, but that's a totally different story. Um, three of them are part of the 100, and then the fourth one actually escapes with the 100 to go to Earth to protect the one that that person loves. And it's just, yeah, all about survival and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah. So let's get into some of the differences. So there are actually a lot of my favorite characters that appear in the TV show that don't even exist in this book and it's really upsetting because I really like those characters. Um, I think some of the characters in here are actually named differently in the TV show so it was kind of weird because I was like wait wh wh where's where's so wh wh where is he? And then it's like, well, this guy's acting exactly like he does, but that's not his name. And so I kind of just assume that it's actually him, but they they just didn't do the other the actual name for it. But um, yeah, most of the stuff, like the action that takes place in this book and everything, doesn't really go on at all in the TV show. Um, mostly because it was the TV show is just based off of the few little chapters at the very beginning, which isn't even when they get into onto Earth. That's when they're being told that they're being sent to Earth and they're all getting on the shuttle and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Um if I had to choose between the TV show or the book, I think I'm gonna go with the TV show. Mostly because I am a huge fan of the TV show. Nothing about it makes me hate it. This book was kind of a little, huh, 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 huh. Yeah. So it's about to be the spoiler part of the review. So if you have not read this book or if you have not seen the 100, then I would leave right now if you don't want to be spoiled you have been warned. So there was definitely one thing that really really irked me. In the book, Wells and Clark are a thing. Like like the black guy in the TV show who's the son of the Chancellor. Yeah they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Not just friends like in the TV show. They were boyfriend and girlfriend and it's I don't like it. It's really awkward. And I, I didn't, and even when they were like talking about it and like they were doing all these flashbacks of like when they were together, it's like, they don't, they don't seem good together. Like, no, they were just acting like brother and sister basically, which is like, oh, that's, that's like, they, it's basically incest in this and I don't I don't like it um the character glass has this whole love story interest which I really really liked I 
I wish they had done her in the show and she would have been like the eyes on the arc because that's how it acted in this book but in the show you actually see the eyes from like the uh the chancellor and Clark's mom and all that kind of stuff so I kind of like that more and you get a lot more perspective with the TV show than on this although this is told from the teenager's point of view and they're not always told all the things so you know that's how it goes but I will say that the character Bellamy in this book comparing to the show is not much of a leader like he he has taken no leadership roles whatsoever and it's really bothering me that's kind of why I don't want to continue this series either because I like Bellamy in the TV show he's very much a leader in fact he's the one who takes charge once they get on there he's like oh no let all the privilege do the work this time and blah 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 and then this character in here named Graham who I'm assuming is what Murphy is in the TV show is a complete asshole and there's no like bantering between Graham and Bellamy like there is between Murphy and Bellamy in the show and so it was really upsetting because I, I like the way they bantered it was really nice he because Murphy was like Bellamy's bitch and it was great it was really great Murphy was so good and he's not in here and neither is Monty and Jasper like the two little nerd guys in the tv show they're not in here which is really upsetting they're there was like almost nothing that happened in here. They got there on, like they got to Earth and then they just started, like Bellamy went hunt. And Clark, it was basically about treating all these wounds that took place after their um, landing, which kind of makes more sense because in the TV show there wasn't really many injuries, but in the book, people died. There was so many injuries. Clark, one of Clark's best friends, like, almost died from an injury. Of course, then when there was the fire that that killed her. So, yeah, that character doesn't exist in the TV show either. I didn't like it, and that's why I gave it a four out of five stars. I probably could have given it a three out of five stars, but the story was still really good. It's just watching the first episode of the 100 comparing this to the book a lot of things happened in the tv show comparing to the book like with just the first episode like so many things happened in the first episode and then this it was really kind of like slow like a little bit and then basically Clark was just looking for medicine and then her and Bellamy kissed and then he, she accused his sister of stealing the medicine after they found it. And then he like got upset and he was like, oh, you're just like all the others, all the other privileged, accusing the underprivileged of stealing stuff. And my sister of all people. But it was really her. So he apologized. But then maybe that's where all the feelings about Bellamy and Clark happened. Because although they do have a lot, a lot of chemistry in the TV show, there was the whole Finn thing. Yeah, Finn doesn't exist in here. Which, sp like, sparks my interest. Is this how the whole shipping of Bellamy and Clark began? Because that would make more sense than they just start, oh, Bellamy and Clark. I mean, yeah, they work together and they have really good chemistry in the TV show, but Finn, Finn and Clark, they, they were definitely a thing for like a long time and then Raven showed up and like complicated things but anyway this is supposed to be a book review um yeah I don't know how I feel about this book there was shit that went down at the very end like okay the last page I was yelling and screaming and I was like like I threw the book on the ground <laughs> when I finished it because the last page had like the most action throughout the entire book and it was just like th this is the last page how, how is this the last page if this is what happens on the last page then where's the rest of it because I don't like how this ended 
Like it it was very um it, it was it was intense and then it just ended and I was like okay. <laughs> um yeah, this the like this book confirmed all the reasons why I hate Wells because in the TV show, they like they make Wells turn out to be like this actually really good guy who was just trying to protect her because it was actually her mom who um who revealed what her dad was going to do and all that kind of stuff. But in the book, both the parents are executed because of Wells. And Clark is arrested because of Wells. So he has like and then he cuts the air supply, which is the whole reason why these people sent the 100 to Earth. Like, this all confirms why I freaking hate Wells. Wells is one of the worst characters that I have ever had to deal with. And this just made it so much worse. I hate Wells. I hate it so much. I didn't even cry when he died in the 100. Like... I didn't care. <laughs> I was like, okay, well that makes things a lot easier because now she doesn't have to deal with him. But of course, like, they didn't sugarcoat anything in this book. Like, it was all his fault. It was all his fault. And then they ended up getting back together and I was like, um, no. And then they got, like, not back together because he let her friend die. And yeah, I think the only thing that would have made me like this book more comparing to the TV show was if they um had Finn because Finn was really good although I do love Bellamy and Clark the whole point of the first episode with the 100 is that Clark meets meets Finn and at the first um actually during the first like almost the first whole season of the 100 Bellamy is like the enemy but he's not really the enemy he's like just kind of like this person who's sick and tired of the privilege being privileged and all that kind of stuff and he's like finally taking charge that that if they had kept that in this book if they had put that in this book having Bellamy not just worrying about taking his sister away but to keep her safe but to actually have him become a leader and to have to like he was not he wasn't respected in this book at all they banished him they banished him and her sis his sister like what the hell murphy's supposed to be banished and then wells was the one who banished them like no anyway guys that concludes with my review um i can't really say like many technical things I didn't really pay attention this is more like a comparing this to the tv show so definitely the tv show still wins I don't think I'm gonna continue this series even though it was a very much like it, it was it was a really good book for the most part there were just so many things that I don't want to mess my view up about the tv show so I think this will be the last you hear about the 100 with this book for me so, I don't know, maybe I'll decide to pick up the book, but probably not because I just love the TV show too much and I don't want to ruin the image. So, alright guys, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye!